Hello, it is I again, Rasco from the Rasco and Disco Beer Review, and I'm at the Ealing Beer Festival with Ben Hart, and I'm the festival organizer. Thanks, Ben, for speaking to me to here today. Might I say, the Ealing Beer Festival has been one, perhaps the single biggest influence on my beer journey. In 2006, I came here and um, I just fell in love with beer a hell of a lot more. So, like, How's it been to come back? You've been away for two years. How long you've been doing this? What have you done to get this happening? And you know, what's won? What's gone on? What's happened? Talk to me. So uh, I've been organising the festival for the last uh, four festivals, and I've been involved with the branch that run this festival for well, probably about twenty years. Yeah. Uh, so you know. It's been a struggle to get this festival up and running. Originally, we were planning a festival for 2020, mm. uh, which we had to stop uh, when COVID-19 hit. Yeah. Um, we were partially, part of the way through there, done many, many months worth of planning, mm. and then just had to put all that planning in the bin, and you know, we didn't do anything uh, until a few months ago when we, uh, when we thought, actually, it looks like we're going to be at a holiday festival. The risks are lower now that we, you know, we're not going to be stopped from, from doing yeah. it part way through. So we started talking to uh, Ealing Council, who mm -hmm. uh, run this park and have the other series of events on uh, here after us. Yeah. And they're very much up for us still doing the uh, beer festival. Got budgetary approval from the campaign to real out, and, and here we are, you know. Uh, I'll make it sound simple, you know, there were some hurdles and things. Um, the fact that when I got approval for the festival, we were only uh, eight weeks out from the, the date, and there's an eight week lead time on glasses alone. Uh, you, ha you have to get your logo done, and uh, you know, as you can see, uh, we're uh, repping the uh, TFL Elizabeth Line tube uh, on there, so. Uh, Pretty well, here, no. the, uh, you know, the, the Elizabeth <laughs> Line, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, but here we are, and uh, we managed it somehow. I've, this is my third day being here, I wasn't here yesterday, but it's been fantastic. I'm, I'm, that's the same tent that is used for the Blues and Beer, uh, Blues and Ealing Festival, um, and I, I feel quite like it. I like it more. Than I, I haven't had any negative comments about that uh, tent, I've had just positive comments about it, and that tent is only really born out of the fact that we've got a slightly less uh, beer on sale here, yeah. which means we can fit it in there. In fact, I looked at the tent um, for the last festival that we had to can, and, uh, and I just couldn't fit our normal bars in there, you know. The impact of COVID means that we are having to have uh, expecting less attendance, um, mm -hmm. so we have to sort of cut across accordingly, and, yeah. and therefore we don't have much beer. So massive opportunity there um, to get the bars in there, and we managed it. Um, yeah. it is, it just has a whole much uh, better atmosphere in there, really, yeah. when you, than the, the you know the bland, clinical white marquees yeah, that yeah, you, yeah. you can get, which are just functional to get the beer in there. Um, you know that one, it feels like a circus, and I, I wrote in wrote in the program, uh, it's a it's a theatre of a theatre of beer, it's a circus set. You go in there, and uh, you know, it, and that's what it's meant to be, really. Yeah, man, it re really is. I've, I've taken enough images and posted them up. Please check them out. Am I right saying this is the sixth largest beer camera beer festival? I don't, um, I don't like to get drawn on numbers, but um, certainly in London, I think we're the largest outdoor festival. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure we're the largest. I, I don't know. Who knows? How do you measure a beer festival? Is it the size? How many cars have you got on? Um, the variety of beers? I don't know. It's, uh, all enough. beer festivals are important, and yeah. you can go to some really, really small beer festivals that yeah. would have 12 cars on, and there'll be an absolutely epic event. You can mm. come to a massive beer festival, and it might not be so epic. So, oh. you know, it's about what it is, not the size and the numbers, really. Right. And this is the first year you've had keg on. It is, it's not. We had keg last year, so... Um, well, we, we had 2019. So 2019, yes. Yeah. So the last time we had a festival, we had yeah. keg on. And um, we had one line of keg, so several taps, but mm. only one line. That was from Rebellion uh, Beer. Yeah. And they, the Rebellion Lager we had all at that time, mm. they very kindly came in and set up the keg bar for us. Yeah. Um, got the systems working properly. It's not, you know, our expertise. My brother, who's the Weststock holder of the we kind of discussed about it. We had to get it through the branch as well because there's a, you know, make sure that the branch wanted us to do a keg beer. Oh my. Um, and, and yeah, so we put that on in 2019 yeah. and it went really well. Uh, it, keg beer goes well when it's hot because it's 
were generally colder than, uh, yeah, than the, yeah. the cellar sort of temperature beer that we would we would sell the beer out. Um, so we got that on then, and this year uh, we had an opportunity to use what the camera call a keg wall, and it's effectively a, a purpose-built, ready-made wall of taps that you yeah. can connect up. And we could have got about um, potentially 16 taps on there, but it's a difficult to use, mm. and the weather here can be quite warm. We've been lucky; it has been warm here. Um, so we, we were a kitchen beer festival actually, and noticed this uh, unit you can get in, which is a refrigerated unit. Uh, mm. unit so flat pack, build it up, put your kegs inside. It has an 18 uh, taps on the wall. Um, it has the drip trays, has glass washing facilities, everything built in. So we got that. It's installed in in there now, and it is popular, very popular. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like 10 deep at the yeah. bar over there. It is some lovely Saturday afternoon. Well, ben. All right, so what's one uh, beers here? I know um, five points is one a pair. Yeah, you're asking because I have remember the entire list of it. I, right. I know that uh, Twickenham Naked Ladies has won yep. the, the overall winner, which is mm. great, really good beer. Uh, but yeah, we, we've been uh, running Champion Beer of London here, which is, uh, forgive me that I don't remember all the... Uh, yeah, yeah, all the, all the, all the look winners. it up online, it's You fantastic. can look it up, uh, it's out there. So uh, this is uh, uh, judging the best beers in London. and. Uh, so Chris Prine, who is, 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 is absolutely he doesn't know about beer, it's not worth knowing about. She's run that for us here at the beer festival. And we really enjoy having all the judges here because they're all people from the industry yeah. or, you know, they work in pubs and, you know, they know about their beer and they know how to taste. And so they judge that for us. Right. Okay. That's, that's great. Um, honestly, yeah, fantastic. About the logo you were just telling me beforehand, yep. there's a bit of a story behind it that yep. the... I mean, the previously um, weird beer did your logo for you, and they've moved out of West London and moved up north. So, so oh, what's happened there? Yeah. So yeah, we, weird beer did it, but yeah. now they're so uh, it was not weird beer directly, but the, the person who designed the artwork for weird beer was mm. designing our logo. So they did 2018 and 2019. Yeah. So they were the uh, the ornamental bridge that is in the park here, mm. and um, the barrels. Uh, we tend to have on, on our logo, you know, artwork that uh, reflects something local, and uh, and of course this year uh, is the launch of the Elizabeth Line official launch yeah, yeah. for quite some time. So I don't, you know real trains yeah, you know, yeah. going well together and and this logo um, came about from that and I'm absolutely useless at drawing I've never been at drawing. some concept stuff on my computer mm. sent it off um, to a designer and we we're really struggling to find someone uh, to design the logo sitting in the Dodo micro pub in in Hanwell run by Lucy Doe uh, yeah. she uh, sitting there chatting away as you do in her pub and uh, someone in there said I've got a member of the family does design work why don't you try and talk to them so we sent them the design uh, my concept mm. uh, which was you know, was very good and came back the next day with something we just knew we just knew it was going to be the logo because mm. the, the artwork was you know just right on on spec for our yeah. uh, so yeah we worked with them a few weeks and got it got it done um, but we were right on the deadline for the festival glass um, and that's an eight week week time so yeah we had to, had to get it done quickly it hadn't been for that conversation uh, in a micro pub and you know we wouldn't have we wouldn't have been here today drinking out of a glass you'd have been you know drinking out of something flame uh, or, or plastic i don't know yeah. The, the conversations you have in a pub, bar and pub is just amazing. Yeah, that is fantastic. And Dodo, um, I've not been there. My partner in this scheme I have uh, has been there. It's got, and it's got a great reputation. Yeah, and it just shows there is something going on beer-wise in West London. If West London does get a bit of criticism, I don't think that's fair. You can do the beer mall here as well. So uh, yeah, <laughs> there, there, there is a little bit of a route that starts off with the Dodo, and I, yeah. I won't say which pubs are involved. You can look it up yourself, but. Uh, yeah, do, do that. Do you want to learn a bit about West London? Oh yes, please do. Ben, thank you very much. Ben. Just one question, how much hours of work does that in a year to do this? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, I'm lucky I'm on a, a spatter from work at the moment. I've been able to do this in that time. I'm going back to work six months. And, uh, you know, that it does take a long time. You know, it's, yeah. it's all the taste of people. No, that, I don't put a figure on it. Everything is voluntary. Yeah, this is yeah it is. Uh, all, all of our um, staff working here are volunteers. Yeah. Um, done a beer camera member. You can volunteer at a beer festival. Certainly our beer festival. If you're not a camera member, so next year in uh, 2023, mm. um, then please look look up the website. If you want to volunteer? Get your name down there, and we'll welcome you. And it's great fun. I, I just might. Ben, thank you very much. Mate. Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, and like and subscribe.